Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, the officers, and drill instructors of First Recruit Training Battalion, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Company B. This morning's ceremony will begin with calling the company to attention. At this time, the guests are requested to remain seated. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Ruth Bryan, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. This will be followed by our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for First Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Gregory A. Grayson.
ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize these new Marines and everything they've accomplished. Their journey began 13 long weeks ago when they stepped on the yellow footprints and committed to becoming Marines. They arrived as individuals, perhaps a little more sure of their decision, but stand before you as a confident team of smartly disciplined Marines. During the past few months, we developed a physical and mental toughness to be able to thrive in a complex and chaotic environment. They learned essential work fighting skills. They hide countless miles, learned how to operate the field, and completed intensive marksmanship training. They were taught how to decide, act, and communicate with initiative, clarity, and exceptional judgment, and they proved themselves to be leaders of character who inspire and treat others with dignity and respect. Their training culminated with a rite of passage through the crucible, a grueling 54 hour test of teamwork and endurance. And throughout, they came to embrace our core values of honor, courage, and commitment with a clear understanding that being a Marine carries a special trust and confidence in the highest expectations of the American people. Now, as you might imagine, this awesome and very magical transformation, it didn't happen by itself. And I'd like to recognize, recognize those who were involved. First, we recognize each Marine journey started long before they got here. The foundation of their character is starting with you, in your homes, in your schools, in your communities. I want to thank all the parents, families, and friends, as well as teachers and coaches for everything you've done. I assure you that your love and support is vital to their success. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, 
It's not about you. It's about all the Marines who have gone before you, whose legacies you are now a part of. It's about that Marine sitting to your left and to your right. It's about all these people in the stands and this great nation which you swore to defend. So, serve with honor, serve with courage, serve with commitment, and you'll do well. Congratulations again, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. Please, take care of one another and remain Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's newest United States Marines! Now taking his position center stage is today's guest of honor, Sergeant Major Carlos M. Murcia, Sergeant Major, 12th Marine Corps District. <laughs> Sergeant Major Carlos M. Murcia, Sergeant Major, 12th Marine Corps District. Sergeant Major Murcia enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in June 1992 and graduated from Bravo Company, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, San Diego, California, on 28 August 1992. Upon completing training at the School of Infantry in Camp Pendleton, California, he received the Military Occupational Specialty of 0351 Infantry Assaultman and was meritoriously promoted to Lance Corporal. Sergeant Major Murcia has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include serving as an assistant team leader, team leader, and chief scout sniper for the Surveillance and Target Acquisition Platoon, Headquarters and Service Company, assault section leader, machine gun section leader, and weapons platoon sergeant for Company F, 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, 2nd Marine Division, and the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, drill instructor, Senior Drill Instructor and Series Chief Drill Instructor for Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. Company Gunnery Sergeant for Company K, 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines and the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Range Company 1st Sergeant of Edson Range, Weapons and Field Training Battalion. Battalion Sergeant Major of Combat Logistics Battalion 15, Headquarters Regiment, 1st Marine Logistics Group. Sergeant Major of Recruiting Station, San Diego, California and Regimental Inspector Instructor, Sergeant Major of 23rd Marine Regiment, 4th Marine Division. Sergeant Major Murcia currently serves as the 12th Marine Corps District Sergeant Major. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Murcia. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and enthusiasm and were selected as the platoon honor graduates.
honor graduates are recognized as being the most outstanding Marines in their platoon. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They're considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 1033 is Private First Class Amir F. Deba from Laguna Niguel, California. The honor graduate for platoon 1034 is Private First Class Beltran Arturo from Bar, Texas. And the honor graduate for platoon 1035 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Christian Gonzalez from Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company B. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away, followed by the Marines' hymn. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of the ceremony, the senior drill instructors will dismiss their platoons. This will be the last command the new Marines receive from their drill instructors, and probably the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.